Lemons. The humble lemon is the star today. We're making a lemon tart. It's dessert time. I'm excited. Welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything. Waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? We're learning how to cook with Anthony Bourdain's Layout Cookbook from his time as executive chef. If you're new here, I'm a regular dude who has found a passion for cooking and I'm working through every recipe in AB's book. Today, simple, simple lemon tart. This is also our first dessert of which you voted for many times on Instagram. I keep on wanting to make some type of bread, but dessert keeps winning. So we're making dessert, but I actually enjoy making dessert. If you follow the directions, it usually turns out close to perfect. One thing I'm gonna do with this recipe, kick it up a little bit, grasp berries are my favorite f***ing fruit ever. I'm gonna add a raspberry jam. And another thing, I'm actually going to go against Bourdain here. He calls for pre-baked pie crust. In my opinion, a tart should use tart dough. So I'm gonna use the tart dough instead of the pre-baked pie crust. If you'd like, grab Bourdain's book. I have it linked down below. So let's get moving. So first thing we gotta knock out is this pre-baked pie crust. However, I'm gonna do tart crust, like I said. By the way, let me know what you think about this like top-down camera. Also like and subscribe. My hair is actually red, I'm learning, which is pretty unique, I think. I'm Scottish, so they were good at making lemon tarts. We're gonna sift 250 grams of pastry flour into a large bowl. That is sugar. I'm already low-key excited, man. I love dessert. Next, cream 125 grams of butter. On medium setting. All right. It was nice and soft to me. I wish I knew a little more what the hell I was doing here. I feel like I should have used a different attachment. Wow, I really made this hard for myself. Oh, also I'm wearing a blue shirt. I spilled coffee on my white one. All right, that's good enough. Turn the butter into the bowl with the flour. I lost a lot of butter in this process. There's a lot in here in the whisker. I'm gonna add a little more butter, just a little bit. Combine quickly, dude. Power move, power move. This is not turning out good. I'm gonna add everything, chop it up with this cutter, and make a nice dough. This spoon, add the egg, sugar, and vanilla. I love vanilla. Add the sugar, and I'm just gonna go to pound town. I did see a thing where you could use a food processor. I might even need this by hand. Dough should be cold while I'm doing this. That's the problem. Mm. It's starting to look Mm, you like that? It looks like a delicious sugar cookie. I'm gonna kind of knead it real quickly. I used to knead like crazy. I used to make a lot of doughs and stuff. I'm gonna get this into a square. Figure this will be easier. Plastic wrap, wrap it up. Now we store this bad boy in the fridge for about an hour so it gets nice and hard. That's what... Nope, 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 nope. Pop that bad boy in the frigidator. Now I'm going to make these candied lemons. I got this recipe for candied lemons on Google. If you wanna check it out, here it is. I hope you brought your magnifying glass. How to make candied lemons. In a large saucepan, combine the sugar, water, and lemon juice, bringing to a boil. Where's my mandolin? Mandolin, yo, this guy got it on Amazon. It may be a little too thin, but it looks gorgeous. Let's try one more. Yeah, that's a little better, I'd say. Gonna be careful. That could have been bad, that could have been bad, I'm done. Reduce to medium low and then add our lemons in a single schlayer. Yeah, stick your hand in that hot boiling water. Ooh, do it again, Mitch, do it again. I dare you, yep, do it again. So, those are gonna hang out. Should I eat this? Vote, 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 vote. Should I eat this? Should I eat it? Should I eat it? So those are gonna do their thing for 15 minutes. Gonna transfer them now to just a piece of parchment. Let them chill out. I think people get intimidated with dessert. For me, you just gotta see someone do it and then you're good. Cause it really sucks to make that mistake, make that error after investing so much time into it. Luckily you have me. So if I f up, so our tart dough is still chilling out. Uh, you know what, let's see, let's look at it. Not hard enough, just not hard enough. That's what she said. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes, chuck back in. It looks like the easiest method to put this tart dough into the pan is by pressing it. Whereas Bourdain has me lay it out into a ring and lay it in there. I don't know, my intuition's just kicking here to do it this way. And I feel like he'd approve. Maybe call me a head if I mess up, but I feel like he'd approve. Shout out to Claire Saffitz, cause this is where I saw her do this. And the raspberry jam. Candied lemons are my idea, Claire. A little more than half for the bottom. Okay, ooh. Nice little satisfying crunch. Going to just chop it up. 
And with that, we're going to line the tarp pan. Ooh, that's thick, huh? Whatever. See how it goes. It's like a glove. Gonna chop these. Go with the flow here. Put them where they need to go and fill in the spaces with the excess dough. That rhymes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Patch up where I think it needs patching. And now I'm just gonna, with my fingies, pat it. Really making sure to get it in these crevices here. If there's a mistake, just use some dough. Into the freezer for about 15 minutes. All right, it's been five minutes. This is nice and hard. Now I'm gonna trim off the edge. Being careful, because this is a non-stick. All right, in the oven, pre-baked, 350, 20 minutes. All righty, we're back. Whoa, whoa, John exploded. John popped up. There's no directions for pre-baking the dough. Did a quick Google search. It looks like I should have uh, kept it pressed down. Let's see if that drops. So I learned uh, you have to press down that tart dough. Fortunately, the dough is falling, but I want to show you. She used aluminum foil, which lines the pan, and that keeps the dough flat. It is what it is. I mean, there's no going back now, unfortunately. So while that's doing its thing, I think we can start making the actual like tart filling. We're going to add half a cup of lemon juice, sugar, four eggy boys, ba-doom. Yeah, I cracked a few eggs in my day. Cup of creme. Let that hang out to the side. May have whisked that too hard. It got a little bubbly. Check on the tart. I'm not sure if I'm looking for browning here or what. All right, the tart has browned up and puffed up. I don't care. Next, I'm gonna add some jam ski. Problem is there's not much really to go in here at all. Go down, go down. I command the thin layer, spread it. And then this is gonna go Go back in the oven to get rid of some of the moisture. Slight issue, man. I think I like over whipped these eggs. Definitely should not have that foam. I'm gonna have a lot of advice for you at the end of this one. What a nightmare. I will take these mistakes any day over some of the problems I've been having. F you, Bubbles. Whew, what a test in patience this is. All right, and now we pour this in there. Right, 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 right. Oh. Gentle, Mitchell. Bubbles with my sharp ass knife. Pop, 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 pop. Now back into the oven. 375 for 25 minutes. And we're overflowing. We're overflowing! Evasive maneuvers. There we go. This is turning into my biggest challenge yet. Now we wait 25 minutes and then we have to let it cool. I didn't know what I was getting into. This is tedious. Let's see how this turned out. Burnage, but that's okay, because I overfilled it. It's definitely set. Now we have to let this cool for an hour. <laughs> In that time, I'm gonna go edit. See you then. Finally, it is time. It is late. It is time to plate this thing. Let's do it. Pretty. It looks undercooked-ish. Was it worth it? Time will tell. I like it. It isn't super harsh on the lemony flavor, which is kind of something I like. My presentation, I just f***ed around with the rosemary because I saw something on a magazine with that. I think it looks pretty. It is good though. I am happy with it, but there are many things I would do different. Keeping down the tart crust, because you saw it balloon up. Another, evenly distributing that crust. It's a pretty thick crust, but it's delicious. I can tell you that. Oh, don't overfill the custard as well, or whatever we made there. You get the black edges, not too crazy about that. Overall though, for the first time making a freaking tart, I'm happy with it. Like the raspberry does add a nice touch too. There is a whole lot of mess here. This was a very lengthy process. Take your time, plan out how you would make this. Give yourself the whole day even. If you're into Anthony Bourdain, if you like cooking or you just like watching me possibly f things up or make them well, I'll let you decide. Please like, comment, subscribe. Give me feedback. Tell me what you think about the top-down camera. We just made Anthony Bourdain's lemon tart. Thank you for watching. This was Back to Bourdain.
Stay organized and clean up after yourself. You do the best you can.